Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video we are showing you our brand new Messus Barbus colony. Messus Barbus is a harvester ant so the really cool thing about harvester ants they eat seeds and they grind it up and they make like an ant bread. So they kind of make a bread out of the seeds like sunflower seeds other little seeds like that and it's really cool the processors. Uh, eventually when the colony is big you'll see like full on seed chambers where they store the seeds down in the nest and it's proper cool. But as you can see here we have got a tube that we ordered from Best Ants UK with I think it was about 15 worker ants in for the Messrs Barbers and we are putting them into this S1 starter module with that came from Wakushi and we also did a video on this which will be in the top right right now. So what we did, we took on the cotton for the Messrs Barbers colony and we just put the tube in, line down, let them move out on their own pace and straight away, because a few ants were stuck to the cotton, some fell in. So as we were putting the tube down the wall, looking around, all excited and you can see one trying to climb up the wall and they have no look at all. These ants grip is not very well from what I can see anyway. But if you stay tuned to the end, you'll see a really weird thing that we need everyone's help with in the comments below. You'll see a really weird thing that happened to our colony and we really need everyone's help with below. So make sure you stay towards the end of the video. And we also need names for this queen and colony. So if you've got any name suggestions for our new Hobbs front colony, make sure you comment them down below. So as I mentioned earlier on, if you look at the right of the outbuild now, you can see this ant's current, uh, like, consistently climbing up, falling back down, climbing up. Now he's stopping to clean himself and I think he gave up at this point. He's checking out some of the seeds that we put in there. He's like, oh, I'll come back for that later. So he does come back for that later. Uh, but as you can see, if you look super carefully, you can see the queen putting just the tiptoes on the floor and then she backs up quite quickly. And as you can see, all the workers have got brood in the mouse. Some workers are nipping in and out of the nest module that's connected to the ant world. We just plop the tube in the ant world straight by the nest port so they can easily just go into the nest and find it quite easily. But it seems I absolutely love this nest setup in ant world. I think it's really good. I love the substrate. I love the feeder and it's just a proper cool setup overall. And as you can see now, there is an ant gain into the nest and one just came out there. I'm sure the word will get round very fast of this new awesome nest that's just on the other side of this scary ant world. But yeah, very soon after, as you can see now, the queen was out wandering around and it was really weird. The queen just wandered around for a few minutes and then eventually she found a way into the nest. But we'll get onto that a bit more later into the video of the weird thing that I saw and noticed very it is very very weird to me make sure you stay tuned for that so here you can see the queen wandering around with an egg pile which is quite cool and she's wandering around looking for somewhere to nest i'm assuming but eventually she does find the nest entrance and as you can see all the workers are inside getting all the nests together and here you can see her trying to scale the walls and it's not working for her it's just not happening she just keeps falling back down and she just keeps falling back down but as you can see the other two workers uh, they're just looking around everyone's just looking around exploring it's all new to them it's all super fun for them and i think they're just loving life at the moment they're all just looking around but this colony is definitely really really weird and i'll get on to very soon why this colony is really weird and if any of you can help us with these problems that we've been having with this colony please help us because we're scratching our heads at this point but yeah, the queen stood here for about three minutes straight, just trying to climb this wall with some brood and eggs in her mouth. And it just wasn't going very well for her. She just kept trying to climb and slipping. There wasn't an anti-slip for this, low she just, I just don't think this type of colony's got a very good grip. But she got a little bit of grip here with a little push from the ample nest. I tried covering up the nest a bit with my hands to encourage them gaining, in, but that didn't really encourage them. But eventually they did go in and we'll show you some clips now of the whole colony nesting and getting quite comfortable in their new nest but it's an absolute beautiful colony anyway they do eventually get majors which help to break down the seeds and the workers and everything are quite big as well so it's a really cool colony so we'll show you them nice and cozy in the nest 
Right, so this is the weird part that I mentioned earlier. So today, which is probably about three weeks of having this colony now, we have basically lost half of our workers and this is what our queen was doing the day of editing this video. The queen was wandering around outward. I've never seen anything like this before. If this was in a natural environment, this whole colony would have been dead because that queen would have been another ant's food. I just can't believe this was happening. And I'm not kidding, it's been like that for about five hours. So the clip you just saw was filmed about five hours ago. So we just thought I'll go check downstairs, see if the queen is still wandering around. And about five hours later, the queen is still wandering around. All the workers are still in the nest looking after the three or four eggs that are in there, like maybe one or two pupae as well. But there is not much left. I think there are eight workers and we started out with 14 so we just dropped I think so we dropped about six workers and that is not really good for a small colony like this and then the queen goes wandering around I know harvester ants are known to be skittish but I was not expecting anything like this they just keep wandering around and it's really really weird so if anyone knows the problem with these harvester ants please let us know do you think the colony could be dying? Do you think this is the Queen's way out? Uh, if so, comment down below. Please let us know. It is really sad to see this because personally, I do think the colony is on its way out. I don't understand what has happened. Uh, my only thought is we put them in too big of an outwall plus nest. We should have just put them in the nest for a bit, got them a bit bigger, then connected that more. But I'm, I don't really think that's a problem, but that's the only thing that I could think of. So. If anyone has any ideas, please let us know. And we do show a sneak peek of a little nest that's next to these harvester ants. So make sure you stay tuned to see these new ants, which we've got hundreds of and they're awesome. So thanks for watching today's video. Please help us out with what's going on with our colony. And thank you very much. And we'll see you very soon in the next video.